Welcome to This Week in Gambling, presented by U.S. Bets. I'm Eric Raskin. Every week, we're covering the biggest breaking news in the U.S. gambling industry. And we start this week with the biggest of news out of the smallest of states. Rhode Island has officially legalized mobile sports betting. Governor Gina Raimondo put her signature on the legislation on Monday. Unfortunately for bettors, in terms of registration, Rhode Island is following the Nevada model, not the New Jersey model. In-person registration at one of the state's two casinos will be required in order to open a mobile account. The good news is, it's Rhode Island. Nobody in the state lives more than about 45 minutes from a casino. One key detail, sports betting revenue, both land-based and mobile, will be taxed at 51%. So it remains to be seen how profitable this will be for the Rhode Island lottery and for the casinos. No word yet on the expected launch date. In other state-by-state legislation news, Two states considering sports betting made headlines this week with two of the more ill-conceived proposals we've seen since the Supreme Court overturned PASPA. First, in Iowa, State Representative Mary Wolf has pitched a 3% tax on mobile sports bets paid by the consumer. If you want to place your bet from your phone or computer and not drive to the land-based sports book, you have to pay an extra 3% big. The suggestion was not well received in the gambling industry, but to her credit, Wolf engaged in discussions on social media and indicated it's just an idea that she's workshopping. Meanwhile, in Tennessee, where a sports betting bill is being considered, we saw a proposal that included banning betting on major holidays and on Sundays from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Good thing there are never any sports on Sundays that people would want to bet. (sighs) Thankfully, this proposal was shot down by a too-close-for-comfort 10-9 vote. And rounding out our show this week, We have a story reported first on U.S. Bet's sister site, NJOnlineGambling.com. The Advantage player, who beat the New Jersey online casinos for almost a million dollars in slots earlier this year, has struck again. This player, who prefers to remain anonymous, found an opportunity to play the game Golden Egypt with a 106.9% expected return, and he called 14 friends in the Advantage player community, they funded their accounts at six casinos, and in just a couple of days, they won more than a half million dollars before the game was taken down. And they got paid with relatively little difficulty this time, making this a win not just for the players, but for the regulated gambling industry. That's all for This Week in Gambling, presented by U.S. Bets. We'll see you again next week.